everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is Motorsport Mondays. Let's get the main screen turned on. How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone had a good Sunday. I did. I spent most of the day playing Humankind. On my own. I don't play a lot of games on my own. Uh, so it was a... Uh, it was an experience to be to do that again, but I feel like finally got enough experience, comfortable with humankind, because we still had a lot of questions, a lot of learning while we were playing. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be lots of that going on still, but started my Let's Play series. I don't know if you saw it. If you haven't, after the stream, go and check it out. In fact, I'll probably make a second episode live for a humankind YouTube Let's Play. The Twitch series is still going to continue for humankind on Wednesday uh, independently, so there's going to be two games going on all at once. Ba-doo! <laughs> As always, fire Monty. <laughs> when you play games on your own, do you fi find yourself talking out loud? I do actually have those conversations in my head. Not out loud, but the conversations do happen, so it is true. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, Index! And swear it's not about it. You know, I, I kind of meant it as a joke, because the actual answer, the plan after Motorsport Manager is finished... The plan is probably to start a uh, football manager campaign, um, especially if fo the football manager 22 or whatever is out by then or somewhere around there. But if we need a filler game, maybe we do a little bit of Sims 4 with Monty and Balky, because that could be really fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. UK race coming? Yeah, maybe. So um, it's before the stream started... I <laughs> Before the stream started, I went ahead and executed the plans that we discussed at the end of last stream, which was uh, we completed the breaks. I started a new break project, which is um, we don't have a good epic part. So the epic part in the break project is just uh, a random legendary. So we'll see how that comes out. And then after that, I think we're going to start working on gearboxes. Where was that message from Bale? Load faster. There you go. Uh, go, Monty! <laughs> on another note, just notice that Humankind is available for Matt. I uh, hope for another Quill character drop now. Ooh, let's have a good rave. And thanks for all the entertainment all these years. Hopefully by when... So Wednesday the game will be out, Humankind, because it comes out tomorrow. Wednesday, hopefully, the drops will be re-enabled. There's also, like, avatar sharing and stuff like that for other ways to share your avatars with friends and things. So we'll, we'll have to investigate that to make sure that everyone's uh, got me in their game so that you can beat me up a bunch. And I expect a lot of really funny screenshots of me looking all dejected and sad after uh, losing a war to you guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a little lower key here. Uh, didn't sleep very well. Got up, woke up at like, well, early this morning and was just like, I don't know, it's just yeah, up at like 5.30 or something this morning. I was just like, I guess I'm awake now, which meant I got to play a bunch more Humankind this morning. And then I recorded and now we're here. So we're going to do our best. I got myself some tea, although it's just mint tea, no caffeine. We'll see sure what we can do. All right. I like cupcakes. Um, Stonewall Bank is interesting. Because if the UK race is still ahead, as I was pointing out, we could get a big bonus. I was thinking we'd just grab Cupcake, just for some flat money. Um, what is our schedule? Calendar. UK is literally next. I guess we could just YOLO it. Let's, let's try. You know what? We'll grab Stonewall Bank, and maybe we'll take it for the UK race and see if we can get a really big payout. Hope. Rain? Ah, damn, it never rains in the UK. Everyone knows that. It's not a it's not a rainy place, is it? Uh, Mundo! Hey, thank you very much, Mr. Mundo. Hey, Quill. A mechanic with some jumper cables walks into a bar, and the bartender says, I'll serve you, but don't start anything. That's a classic and a really good one. Oh, and more whiskey and chocolate from Invalid Username! Invalid Username, thank you very much. And indeed, we are going to room the rooms. Do, 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 do. UK only has some very dense fog. Um, okay, car over here. Oh, right, yes, because the, did the new part just finish? Why is there nothing happening? Oh, it just finished. So, ah, crap sticks. The random legendary part we got on these brakes is plus 60% reliability. It's whiskey and chocolate. <laughs> Oh, did I, did I miss one? Oh, Tristel, yours came through twice. Oh no, and let me know if I uh, if you need me to send it back. Um, I will send me an email and I'll take care of it afterwards, after the stream. 
So we can use it right away. I guess that's the good side, the good thing. What's annoying though is that we we're actually kind of done our improvement over here. But uh, yeah, I guess I guess that'll have to be that. Uh, let me drop you. Uh, yeah, I was confused about something. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it did come through over here. I set I set it in the list. I was like, hold on, I'm confused about something, but that would be why. Um, what else are we gonna throw in here? Just to like kill some time. I guess we'll uh, we'll throw in a front wing. There you go, and do something kind of like that. We don't even need the hundred percents everywhere. Because these, these reliabilities are pretty high. Um, although it'd be nice to get the brick. Okay, let me get you out. Okay. I want to get, like, I want to use as much as we can, but I'd rather have it on... I guess we'll do that. Because this will basically have 100%ed. Um, I mean, this is basically already there, but we'll squeeze in the last percent. Yeah, this, this is going to be okay. All right. Something like that. So, yeah, and I was thinking we'd do gearboxes, because gearboxes and front wings are the only things we haven't improved yet this season. Oh, and suspension. But I think we're going to do a gearbox. Well, what's actually our worst? Okay, suspension's halfway decent. Gearbox it is. All right, done. 100% mm -hmm. reliability is useful to reduce the rate in quad, quad. Yeah, we don't have um we don't have um weight stripping in this league, unfortunately. So we're just gonna do the dummy component here just to build up some experience. So we'll do that. Even if it's not a million, it doesn't matter. It's still this is still free. So we may as well just throw that in there. Burn through that as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Wanna prove the average wing you'll use even when you're developing the first wing? Well, because we'll probably We'll do some. I mean, I guess I could improve them both. I guess, um, but I didn't want. To, I didn't want to throw in a second one because I still want the improvement to be going on the real parts. But it was going to waste some. So I was like, well, this is the better of our two wings. So we're most likely going to use it a tiny bit longer while we develop the others. So I'll just throw a little improvement on there. That was all the thinking. All right, we're off to Cape Town. What's in the mail? Ma, 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 ma. Okay. Oh, um, uh, I think it's Rhea is... No, it's Balky. Balky's doing some charity work abroad right now. She's a good person, Balky. Let's check out the uh, latest... Oh, I think we're, we're literally done scouting. 57% marketability. Not too impressive stats. 35%. I mean, decent potential, I suppose. Just on the lookout, just in case something were to shake itself. And now, hello! 94% marketability with a 5-star potential. Sucks at his home race. And he's got a smoothness penalty. It's still worth putting a little star here and keeping an eye on uh, Amory over here. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for the gift subs, Leopard. Everybody has a modeling gig. All right, Cape Town. Um, we're gonna go with Ambrosia over here. Uh, we, you know, sixth and seventh, basically the same, but better, better payout, so that sounds okay. Uh, it is gonna be clear, cool. It's gonna be on the cool side, although the tire compounds are all really, really soft. Um, so uh, temperature is probably not gonna be too much of an issue. We may have to push a little bit, but probably not much. I think this is a fairly cheap pit because there's not much of a pit straight over here. So I suspect we're going to be okay with maybe doing like three stints. Thank you very much. 42 laps. Get that locked in there. Um, I think we're going to do... I don't know. The Ultra Soft still have like the insane cliff. It does look like a gas nozzle. You're right. Petrol nozzle. The Ultra Softs do have an insane cliff. So you only get to use 80% of the tire. Although I guess at least that way the bottom performance band isn't a big thing. Um, I'm actually thinking what we're going to do is we're going to wait it towards the super softs over here. 
Uh, and most likely it's going to be a two stopper. So three sins. It might be super, 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 it might be super, super ultra, but then yeah, we'll, we'll do this in case we end up going triple super, but, and then we have one for the knowledge, two to get ready, three for the show, one for the knowledge. And then maybe we do super, 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 or even if we do super, super ultra or something, it's going to be okay. I, maybe it ends up being super, super soft or something, but. I find that pretty unlikely. So I think this is going to be our best bet. It'll leave us for ultras for the race day. We're not going to have ultra. Well, we will have ultra knowledge because we'll probably practice on it. Um, and then, well, no, okay. We don't actually need it for, for, for quality. So maybe maybe we do run a set of ultras for knowledge. But no, that doesn't make any sense because we're, then we'll only have one ultra for race day. And the knowledge won't matter. So we won't run in the ultras at all in practice. We'll have two for quality, two for race day to see how things go. Uh, and then, yeah, I like it. This entire strategy seems sus to you. Okay. Um, so L, our parts should be fitted. Except they're not because I'm I'm dumb. As I said that, I'm like, hold on. They're definitely not. The new brakes are definitely not. So Chica is currently leading. So we will give her... Well, technically this part's not as good, but will it, I think, improve to be slightly better. Oh, you're only content. All right, we'll... You're still only content because of other parts, I guess. Okay, those are the two best brakes. Yes. Two best engines. Yes. Uh, only wings, only get, everything else is the same. So I guess it's maybe it's the engine that's really caught. Oh, she's delighted now. When did that happen? I missed that. Okay, good. Uh, the pit crew is sorted out. Yes, thanks for checking. Um, still haven't hired a replacement for the last burnt out one. So fingers crossed that we get some good things over there. All right. Out of curiosity, if we went back over to this screen, our brakes, okay. I guess maybe this doesn't change. Maybe this probably uses the brakes we have not necessarily installed in our car, but actually present. Are you still working on the average brakes, like improving? Oh, shit. Yeah, I missed that. Sorry. Someone's probably telling me that earlier. Yeah, I missed that, that we were still doing that. I mean, it doesn't, in a sense, matter, because we don't, we didn't really need any more reliability. Which is why it's all over on performance anyway. Okay. All right. I think we're good to go. Race day. 42 laps. Hmm. <sighs> I love mint tea. Time for victory. You can kind of download 11.5 gigs, yeah. Actually, weirdly, there was a there was an upload or an update for me this morning in my press build, but the version number is exactly the same. So I don't know. Maybe it was just a new asset or something. That could be. Maybe the executable version didn't change, but some assets did. I wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> do, 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 do. Kick down. All right. So uh, practice is going to be dry as far as we know. It's funny that they're on different compounds now, which makes that look all screwy. Um, oh, those two drivers, yes. How are... Why, why? I don't think I've ever seen the drivers pick different compounds. 42 laps. Looks like super, super, super is going to be perfect. Because we definitely are looking at the lower estimate here. Um, well, okay. It is going to be cool. It's only going to be 15 degrees. It's possible we're going to have to push to retain temperature. So it's possible we end up doing super, 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 and a little ultra at the end. Right? We might have to do an extra pit because we might wear the supers a little bit more because we're going to have to push them to maintain temperatures. Now, the super softs are soft and therefore do, like, they do heat up pretty quickly. But 15 degrees is definitely going to be on the cool side. So if we have to push to maintain temperature, we may have to do one extra stop for ultras at the end. But... That is going to be the plan. We're going to practice on supers to get the knowledge for it. It's whiskey and chocolate. That's going to be the case for both of these. Boom, boom, boom. Whiskey and chocolate. April Bear! Hey, thank you very much, April Bear. Uh, hey, Quill. Finally caught up to your live stream of Motorsport Mondays after resisting uh, as just not my thing. But the UbTub algorithm had a different idea. So three weeks of watching like a woman possessed cheering on what I've dubbed Quill's Angels. That's awesome. <laughs> I'll have, if we do do... The Sims 4 series with these drivers or something like that. Maybe that's what I can call the series. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, we're going to be very high downforce here. We don't know where the speed balance is. Probably somewhere in the middle. 
um, and maybe a similar for the handling. We really have no info, no hint here. Again, we could be saving and reloading configs, but I like this minigame so much. You could give me a game that was just this, and everything else just be completely simulated and uninteractive, and I'd be happy. Maybe there's something wrong with me. Mm -hmm. If that's wrong, I don't want to be right. Alright, so that's it. So we just pushed the downforce there. I mean, tweaked some of these other numbers, but I think we're going to leave them there. Uh, let's go! Bill's Angels. I love that so much. <laughs> Alright. Um, boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Let's do our race trims. Yes, go. Let's focus on race trim because it'll make it a little easier for me to keep track of things. Boom, boom. <laughs> no right turns in close mental trap. What is this, NASCAR? Missed the wind. Whoa! Did we bang in the perfect downforce right away with Monty? That's great! That's actually very good news. Alright. Alright, we're going to stiffen up the handling considerably. And we'll leave the speed balance there and see what that does. No, I've never... The thing is, I've never... I was never really into F1 much until two, three years ago. Um, so I never went to the Montreal Grand Prix. And then after that, COVID. But one of the things A Kiss for Luck and I have been saying is once the COVID has finally passed, well, and it returns to Montreal, we're going to have to go and catch it thing live. The thing is, I suspect I'm not actually going to enjoy the motorsport live the same way. Because, like, you know, I have to be around people in weather that could be way too hot or way too cold or rainy. And you only get to see the cars from time to time. And like, mostly I'm gonna want I'm gonna be watching the big screen for the cool camera angles anyway for the action. But I think it's something I'm gonna have to try at least once. Um, let's try stiffening the handling. I know the green is way over here, but this is a little closer to where the other car wanted to be anyway. And I don't know where the other car is speed balance wise, so I don't know if I should be going um, long or short. But I don't know. We'll, we'll just go. Yeah, they go past every minute. That's true. Vroom. It's like, I mean, I guess that's pretty cool. And there's a lot of action on the pit straight, which is where most of the uh, the grandstands are, because that's where the DRS tends to kick in. So that's where you see a lot of the uh, overtakes. The thing is, even before, like, you know, the, all the, the pandemic and stuff like that, big crowd events were never my thing. Like, every now and again, I would go. I would go to a concert every now and again, and it would be like, wow, concerts are awesome. And then every time I think about going to another con live, live concert, I'm like, Man, I don't know. There's going to be people there, right? Ugh. Ugh. All right, so we went the wrong way with the handling. And the speed balance was great, became good. Okay, well, that's interesting, because we just moved it over here by, by tweaking the handling. So that's probably where gonna, the excellence is going to be. Toronto Grand Prix? This is Toronto Grand Prix. Not a Formula One Grand Prix, right? All right, yeah, so the handling here went uh, went all kinds of wrong as well. But at, le that's, at least it's quite clear. Like, it feels bad, like, seeing all these, these frowny faces. But it's actually, like, tremendously good information. Oh, IndyCar for Toronto, okay. I don't know if you know if I've ever even watched IndyCar. And I know I should. And I got people to root for now. I mean, we got like, uh, Grosjean and, and Ericsson too, right? He's there too? All right, that's, honestly, that's a really low number for the double purples. Wow. That is a really low number for the double purples. Let's do that. That'll probably purple the grate, and then we can see where we end up after that. IndyCar always has a ton of Canucks. Well, I mean, there you know, less competition from European drivers is probably why there's more North American drivers. I like Le Mans. Yeah, Le Mans is a is a great event. Okay, handling was good. Became poor, so I've overshot with the handling. Somewhere closer to that. Okay, poor. Okay, let's try this.
Oops. Didn't notice you're already in. World Rally Cart? Yeah, that would be fun. Okay, so again, we got really good information here. So, the sweet spot for the handling is to the left of this grade. Okay, and I mean, we were excellent both times with the speed balance, so it's still going to be there. I'm just going to leave her out for the four laps until she comes back in just naturally. So, Monty, we're just going to leave out at this point. Worst case scenario, you can pull in 96, but almost certainly is going to be a 98 at least. Triple purple for Balky. 98% triple purple. I'll throw in this and see what kind of percentages we end up with. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, you can just... Uh, let's go for 8 laps. I don't even know if you'll need that much. Probably not, actually. Wee wee wee! Behind the back straightaway is just a grass field in Montreal, so you can sit there next to the fence and listen to the car zoom. That was what you're saying. Huh. And then watch F1 TV on my uh, on my cell phone. Bring in the drivers. Yeah, level three achieved. Monty's pulling in now. See if this brings us up to 99 or not. Uh, we're now going to just go out for quality trims and we'll stay on these tires. Aha! Okay. That's good info. So we lost a percentage here. So the handling's got to go to the right. Oops. Handling. So that'll probably put it back close ish to the excellent range. We'll do something like that and see where we're in. Again, we've got the 98, so we're not too concerned because we can always find it again. Mm -hmm. Give me that quality knowledge. Wish F1 had a race or two that was like double length that would really change things. It would be quite interesting. I, I was surprised the um, the sprint, like the going the other direction, the uh, sprint race that they had... Uh, a little bit ago as a test um, turned out to be fairly exciting. Now, I don't know if it's, you know, truly an improvement for various reasons, but it turned out to be pretty exciting to watch. Yet, for the longer race, hey, that's it, they'd have to modify the cars with a bigger fuel tank or they would have to enable uh, refueling, um, which they're not going to do for safety things now. Rail purpled up, yep, yeah. good. So 98, 98, I don't know, I'll just flick some pressure in there and see if it changes or not. <clears throat> but 98's fine. Let's uh, do another set of the quality stints. Oh. Broke the speed balance, but that's okay. That probably means if we put the speed balance back to excellent, we'll hit a 99. So I'm just going to bring down the rear wing angle, bring up the front, and there you go. And that'll probably 99% bulky. And they will probably level 3 the quality trim. Well, there's no probably. They're definitely about to. And that's it. Bring in, bring in. Fini! gonna like whack that in randomly and send her out well we know that's gonna break the speed balance so actually what I'm thinking I'm gonna do that and that I'll probably still be an excellent but it might be closer I I guess the middle I don't know it's hard to tell uh, Monty yeah just go out with this and tell me what you get and oh I broke the downforce that's interesting which is fine because we know where it is Wow okay that is actually really quite informative that is very informative. Because it actually means... Well, two things. First of all, the speed balance has got to go a fair bit to the right. Somewhere around there. 
but it also means that the sweet spot for the downforce is probably somewhere around here. So we are going to go out for uh, one more quick lap here, just to get some numbers on both of you. Hey, Leopard, thanks a bit. After some considerable filling it out, it's literally impossible for me to know anything with the chocolate. PayPal's not so good in TR. It's whiskey so and chocolate. Instead. Well, thank you very much, and I'm sorry that's being a pain in the ass. Um, TR. Don't tell me. Something Republic. Oh, no, I'm just being dumb. Oh, Turkey! Okay. I think I usually think of it as the Republic of Turkey. That's uh, maybe... Uh, I probably wouldn't have gotten there anyway. I'm just a big old dummy. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pharynx! Thanks, thanks for the resub. <laughs> okay, so for quality, we're going to quality trim, sweeter spots. Quality trim, super overtake. Super overtake. We did get to the 99% with Balky, as I expected. And then we... Okay, that's actually very informative, knowing where we broke things. Both the... The handling's got to go to the right for the 99, and the speed balance has got to go to the left. No, I'm wrong. They both have to go to the left. I guess our 98's about as good as the clean I'll just do that. Stop trying to be smart about it. We we'll, won't we'll get the 99. Oh, that probably just means I've got to shove both those to the left. Or maybe it's the downforce, so I don't know. We're just going to go with this. Um... Wow, Monty, even without using Super Overtake mode, was a half a second fa- no. Yeah, a half a second faster than Balky. In practice, interesting. I wonder why. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I think we're ready. Okay, take qualifying. I didn't use the Super Overtake mode, I didn't think. Um, so we're going to do our standard, though, is we're going to go and send you out... Uh, first with your super overtake mode. So we'll do it in clean air. Half the time we do a better time on our first lap. Actually, more than half the time it feels like. Maybe because no traffic, maybe it helps a lot. I don't know. So it's sub one minute times. Oh, Monty coming in ahead of Monty and Tyler. We're faster than both for our... No, sorry. I got... I think I... I don't know why I started thinking Holden was us. My brain, I think, or the time came in and then things moved, but my eye didn't change position. And then I just saw Madi and Tyler coming in under here. I was like, wait, what? What's going on? Yeah, no. I'm just... Apparently my eyes are not going to work today, so be prepared for a lot of weirdness. So we're just going to wait until it's time to do our second stint here. Chuka, 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 chuka. A little more, a little more, a little more. They're really short. A little more. Okay. That's actually really bad quality for us. Uh, I'm so excited all of a sudden. Okay, go. Go. All right. No, no rain. I didn't actually check, but I didn't think so. All right, well, both of them are doing personal bests. So their time is improving. Whether that's enough to move them up the charts... It very much is. Fourth and fifth, and Valtteri Bottas, I mean Becker, has been relegated down to sixth place. Oh my god. That's really embarrassing for the Merck Steinmans. Wow. Fourth, fifth might be our best quality without any... Well, it's definitely our best quality without any weird weather. Huh. Huh. All right. Let's confirm the weather. As far as we know, it is going to be dry. Again, a little on the coolish side. We'll see how that works out. But the plan is still super soft tires, race trim. And the hope is still to do three supers. Maybe we need to do an extra stop and then we slap on some ultras right at the end. But the hope is to do three supers. And we know we know the, pits, the, the pit is is fairly cheap here. So it doesn't cost too much to do the extra stop. 
So maybe we could plan about the ultras, in which case maybe we want to start with it, or maybe we don't, or whatever. Like, if we start with it, because I think a lot of the other cars are going to start with it, in which case, uh, you know, we can not get overtaken as much, and then, you know, we're in a better uh, track position. Um, but if there's a chance we can make it without the extra stop, that's probably better, because I suspect we're really only going to run the ultras. Well, we're going to confirm that our tire temperature is going down. If our if we know for sure our tire temperature is going down, um, we are going to expect to do... How many laps can we do on the Ultras? Okay, a surprising amount. 30, 42, which is the lap length. Theoretically, Ultra, Ultra, Soft, Soft could happen, but I think it would be, especially with Eclipse and things like that, I think it would be very dicey. Um, so we really do want to push the Supers and then plan on doing something like maybe six laps at the end on the Ultras. Um, and I do think I want to do it that way because um, we don't know. I'm worried that if we start on the ultras. That we might not know exactly how much we need, but I don't know. Hold on. I mean, ultras at the end with less fuel rate it doesn't make a difference. Like there's no actual interaction between the fuel weight and the tire compound or the track um grip and the tire compound it's all the same so we'll either go a little faster now or a little faster later um ultras at the end can be for fastest lap kind of thing and yeah maybe we don't need them so we'll, we'll start with the supers maybe we don't actually need them maybe they can they hold their heat enough in which case we save a pit stop but the thing is the pit stop is really cheap so i don't know um we'll do that we'll go with full fuel that's going to be fine Engine mode, definitely high. And we are going to start with the push, because that's going to be okay. Yeah, the temp forecast, 15 degrees now, probably dropping to 14 degrees and back up to 15. So definitely cool. It'll be interesting. Okay. There we go. So we're only the, per the only team, or the only cars in the top six that are starting on softs as opposed to ultras. Yeah, I know, the rolling start. And yes, if we do get a vote, if we can yoink out driver assists, I do think that's going to be really good for us. And we're off! Do you expect to lose a position to Becker? Wow, Becker loses a position to Flores, who might help uh, block for us a little bit. No, there we go. Oh my god! Balky, what the hell happened to you? Monty's up in third. Balky drops down to ninth. Probably one really bad corner and people just flew by. It's annoying because Balky's looking actually faster than these cars right now, but is unable to get through this wall. Come on. Yeah, a little roundabout chicane. The round chicane down to 10th. Balky, what the hell? Montia's down to 5th. But again, not the terrible surprise. It isn't. Flores is off to a great start because they're also on soft compounds. Flores is actually doing insanely well for some reason. All right, we've got ERS available, but it would be hard to skirt around some of these. I don't know. Balky's actually got a good position right now. Let's go with Balky. If I'm going to go with Balky, I may as well go with Bonte as well. There you go. Balky regaining. Good, 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 good. Monty making up a place there again as well. Excellent. Now, Monty does have the first lap here, which gets plus two to all stats. As far as I know, 20 is still the cap. But I don't know. Maybe, for all I know... Monty actually races with a 22 skill in just about everything in the first lap. I always assumed 20 was the hard limit. Because it definitely is on the character sheet. If someone has a 20 and gets a stat that gives another another plus 2 or something, it doesn't sh it, it doesn't lift that stat past 20. But maybe on race day it's different? I find that kind of surprising. I, I don't expect that. Okay. So temperatures are dropping at the tires. Because we started with 50% temperature and it's a little below that. But not by much. It will be maybe a little scary on the pit stop. The pit stop stints might have to get pushed a little bit, so they may be a little bit shorter. So, if we think we can just do it with two stops, so therefore three stints, um, then we want to make sure this one goes as long as possible. Wait, we started 25? Oh shit, we're on orange mode! That's why I'm confused. I forgot our tires are on orange. Oh, that was a long time on orange. 
Yeah, so I did get it. Because I'm like, hold on, I thought the start was cooler. But I'm like, oh, no, no. I clearly must have been remembering it wrong. Because we're at 50. I forgot I was running on goddamn orange for this long. That's terrible. Okay, well, I think we're definitely going for the uh, the force dance then. Because I think we've probably shredded these tires too much. On the other hand, Monty's doing really well right now. So, you know, kudos there. I'm staring at the back of the car. Well, drive better, Balky. There. You want strategy? The strategy is do better. Do more good. That's soft and push. Um, because the pit stop here should be fairly inexpensive. So I think that running on the hardest compound, which in this case is the soft, um, I think we'd lose a lot of time running on such a hard compound and uh, for such uh, cheap pit stops. Plus the hardest compound would cool down even faster. So we wouldn't get anywhere near yeah, Toto Quill Wolf. <laughs> so we wouldn't get the we really wouldn't get the value out of running the softs. The Balky can some overtaking over here. There's not a lot of action around uh, Monty right now. I mean, people are closer behind her than in front of her. So really, it's going to be maybe about. Oh, there's a DRS charge happening there. And another, but mostly they're just tying each other up. People are boxing from their ultra softs, ultra softs into hards for some of these. I think they're not really not going to have. That. They're going to have to push them so hard to maintain temps in those softs. Yeah, I don't know. Box, box, box. Go, go, go. So we got Flores between us. Yeah, so we've used our tires a little bit more than Flores, which is not what I'm used to seeing. Usually we have better tire situation than the AI, but I ran orange too long. So, <clears throat> if we went... 15-15-15 does it. 14-14-14 does it. If we can make this one last 14 laps, then obviously we can just super it the whole way. But the temp attempt's not dropping too quickly, but it's definitely dropping. I think we're going to do super, super, ultra. Super, 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 ultra. Yeah. About 6% per lap on yellow. Clips on the supers is, what, 15%? We're not as worried about the lower performance band here, because it's the middle tire set, so it's not so bad. Becker's really taking, uh, he's, he's ran those ultras a long time. Wow. Super, super, ultra, ultra. I don't think we've got enough life for it. It was one of those, wait, if I hadn't pushed, there was technically on paper enough life to go super, super, ultra, ultra. But, um, it was, it was going to be really awkward, I think. And not actually viable. First and second currently, Flora's right on our ass with ERS, which Valky does not have much of right now. Or still has some ERS, so that's going to be that. But that's okay. No, it's not great, but we already effed up our race, so what are we going to do about it? Lots about 20 seconds in pit. Okay, so it's not the cheapest pit stop. But we probably stuck on this. I don't think these tires here... They could theoretically last 14. Um, we've got a little bit of temperature. I could go to a bit of a conserve. But the problem is the next set of tires is going to start at 25%, apparently. Um, and they'll definitely have to be pushed to maintain tire temp. Yeah, I don't think it's viable. Thirteen, thirteen, eight, eight is fine. Right, that's true. Maybe I underestimated how much life we'd have in the Ultras. 50, Jesus. I Like I said, I got very little sleep last night. So I told you at the start of the stream, it was going to be a rough one today. Yeah, you come out of 50. You know what? No, we're fine. Yeah, because we, we won't have to push at all to maintain temperature. So I think 
two supers and two ultras work, I think three supers also works. I think they both work just fine. Yeah, we're doing lap 13 now. We're going to box now. Um, yeah, 13, 14, 15. Because I think we can probably do the 15. Oh, God, I'm so tired. We have to stop now for the 13, though. So what I guess I'll do is I'll switch to the soft for the second one. And then we can reevaluate maybe partway through whether we're going to make it last into another super or if we're going to box for ultra ultra. It'll also depend if there's a safety car, which could change our math. But we're, we're definitely boxing for a super soft because no matter what, we have to do one more stint as a super. So let's do that now. Oh, I'm going to have a nap right after the stream. And and a beer, which will help with the nap. Yeah, I do apologize. I know it's like extra super derpy today. I don't think I can go one lap more. No, because um, this, unless I'm remembering wrong, and apparently I'm getting everything wrong today, I think the cliff on the supers is 15%. So it's zero on hards, five on mediums, 10 on softs. Yeah, so 15% is the cliff on the super softs, at which point your performance goes right into the shitter. Um, and you really don't want to hit that. So effectively, the tire life on this isn't 0%. It's that 15%. That's where you have to get this tire off. And I think it's going to line up. Actually, we can probably do a tiny, tiny bit of push here. We'll just, just do an overtake. I mean, we used a little URS, so yeah. Well, that's quite cool. Burn a little bit more just to help with this in lap. Well, it doesn't matter because we're pulling in now, but helps a little bit with uh... such a long pit lane. It really is actually quite a long pit lane. It feels like it feels like you're driving in it forever. Wow. Fourth, seventh now. Got lots of ERS. I don't know if there's a particular sweet spot to use it. I'll just go ahead and use it now. And Monty might be able to use it. It's hard with the two cars. Monty, you're a goddamn monster! Gets past Becker on the same tire compound, and Hume, who's moving on pretty worn tire compound, so it's less interesting. Balky got a rough pit exit, yeah. Yeah, something went really bad because they were these. My both my drivers were like one after the other, right? Coming into the pits, so that was pretty rough. Now, at some point soon, Monty is going to have to pull back on the engine mode. Should have had more caffeine today. Should have had some uh, hashtag Red Bull sponsored products or something like that. Had a five second gap before. Okay, it's not as bad as it thought. I guess there, a lot of cars slipped in between the two. I guess the time wasn't so bad. One thing I do miss when there was the refueling is you could be a little bit more tactical with the um, the pit like risk. You know, like fast pits versus standards. Whereas here, it doesn't feel like the expected value is quite the same unless there happens to be some repairs happening at the same time. Okay, I'm going to keep the fuel on for now. Monty, I mean, Becker's right behind you, but it's not so bad. He's got some charge, but not a crazy amount. Everything feels so much faster than these. I think my brain's just working in slow motion. I'm like, I, I was feeling like I was on four times speed right now. But this is just one time speed. I'm having a hard time keeping up. Okay, you know, closest thing to Joe that I found. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like the taste of Red Bull. I like to have one without caffeine. Well, that's interesting. The essential really doesn't. She doesn't even like the smell of it. I think it's the um, is it taurine, which is a vitamin B that they have in there. 
I think uh, I think that's the thing that she notices that's like unappealing for her. But maybe there's Red Bulls without it. They've got some really interesting new flavors out there. Hashtag sponsored by Red Bull. Lavoie would zero stop with ultras and win. Should start last and win. Yeah. Surkov in the pits. Monty holding on to the second place. Really, really nicely, actually. I mean, she's nowhere close to holding. Can we pull back on our engine mode right now? Cool. That was a blue flag. Yeah, that was a blue flag. That's a little early. You know what? No, let's keep going. We got some whiskey and chocolate. That's very exciting. I'll have to try to remember after the... And you know what? There's enough of the race. We'll just pause now. We did. Oh, it's playing Ghost Hills. I couldn't figure out why I haven't been sleeping all night. And then it dawned on me. Oh, my God. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> yeah, just a lot of stressy thoughts. I know I mentioned that I had a, a, a family member in the, in the hospital. Uh, just just got back home. I was very happy about that. But still going to be a little rough for a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and hit this. Try to defend. Maybe I should have done it a little sooner. No, there you go. Monty staying ahead. Gaining speed? Nice. Go ahead and do a big push now with Balky so I don't forget. Oh my god. Balky just... Monty just left Becker in the dust. I mean, we're on a slightly more aggressive engine mode, but barely so. What's the deal? I mean, he was using ERS as well, and I was pulling ahead. And now neither one of us are using ERS. That's crazy. His tires are a little bit worn. Maybe he dropped into the lowest performance band? Mm, no, I suspect he's still in the mid. Or she, I can't remember what Becker is. They. I, suppose, I, I think they... I mean, they might be in the lowest now, but... Oh, I missed Whiskey and Chocolate before the Don joke. Okay. Not yet. Basically, I want to run this one all the way down. I think... Okay, let's hit the pit button. Just get some calcs over here. They figure six to eight more. So we did 13. And we need to do at least 14 on this one. Let me check the whiskey and chocolate in a second. At least 14 on this one. So we can do 15 on the last one, right? 13 and 14. So we have to complete 27 laps. Yes. And then we'll have to complete 8, 9, 10, 15, 15 laps. Yes, that works out. Um, so if we can ride this to the end of lap 27, which I think we can, the temps are okay. Although, interestingly enough, it's going to be slightly warmer maybe for the final stint. Maybe this is the one we push more and we just do the 14 laps on. Well, that's what it's talking about. Push more, do 14 laps on this one, and then the last one can be 15. It'll be a little warmer. We don't have to push quite as much. 20, it would be better. Yeah, that would mean doing 15 on this one. Or we still go to two ultras. It feels like the pit stop is longer than I had thought. It feels longer than I had thought. So I'm not sure I want to do two more stops for the ultras, but we may have to. I mean, two ultras will last longer than one soft. Because we can run them like 8 and 8 for 16 laps. So I'd miss... Oh, I missed Bad Joke Bot earlier. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Quill. What's a clock's favorite time? It's got to be 6.30, hands down. I'd never heard that before. That was really good. Yeah, I, I think the pits are long. So I want to push. I want to keep this one going. I think if we stop on 27, it's fine. If we stop on 28, it might be better. We'll just decide on our tire situation at that time. So, um, Valky's closing in on someone here, which is nice to see. Doesn't have a ton of ERS, but has some. 19th place is trying to unlap themselves here. Monty's got tons of charge, but no one really near her. She's got three and a half seconds ahead of, ba of Becker. Oh, Holden's in the pits. Okay, well, first of all, let's go ahead and do that. And let's rip these both out. I 
I guess we were going to come out of, in front of Holden no matter what, but... Oh, Palky, can you get it there? You know, you're going to run out of charge before you get any shenanigans going. So Monty's just going to rip out a crazy lap here. And then what I'll probably do is I'm going to bring down her engine mode right now. She's not going to be fighting with anyone currently. She's still got plenty of fuel. We'll be able to orange her near the end. Ah! Well, it would have been hard to... Um, to stay ahead of Holden on his fresh tires. Although he is on those hardest compounds. He doesn't want to pit again. Which is interesting. Tyler having a terrible race. That's great for us. Right now, we are in a really good place for second. Although we do have to box again. Although I guess a lot of these guys will it well. Uh, I was reminded that to win the underdog challenge, we have to win both the team championship and the driver's championship. Which does make it... You know, there's a possibility that we could win the team but not have a driver win. I felt like Monty took that corner wide, but that might just be the line on this course. It's about 20 seconds. Yeah, okay. So that, that reconfirms it. And that feels... I mean, it's not the world's most expensive pit stop, but it ain't cheap. And therefore, I'm going to be happy to uh, just try to stretch it out here on these tires. Balky overtook Becker. Oh, Becker boxed. And is now out over here. Okay, we'll try. Temps are too low. The temperature is not a problem unless it literally hits the bottom. Fingers crossed we don't have to push to avoid that. Oh, oh no, you're not going to be able to actually come out ahead of whoever's coming out of the pits right now. Oh, that's Ishimoto. We're, we're lapping them anyway, so it's could have saved the URS or something else, but it's not like we're close to passing anyone anywhere. Now, Holden is catching up to Monty, which makes sense. Monty's tires are pretty worn at this point. Okay, we are going to have to box on lap uh, 27 here. So much better if we can make it to 28. We could decide to do a split. We could bring Balky in now for the Ultras. We can't, The problem with conserved tires... Like we can't make 28. Even on conserve, I don't think we would. And then we just get cold. The question is... Can we make the next lap work? So 8, 9, 10. Then 10 more. We need to do 15 laps on the next stint, and we're only doing 14 laps on this one. And the next tire is going to be the same, because we're not going to be able to conserve that one either. I don't think I don't think Ultra Ultra is better than Soft. The problem is I don't think our Softs can make it. I didn't push on this one. It's a tiny bit warmer. Maybe we can do a little conserve earlier. No, there's no way. It's just, it's, I mean, it's going to increase, it's not going to increase enough. I don't think we can make it on the softs. Unless we accept a little bit of cliffing. But see, it's going to lose 6% on this lap. So we're going to, at the end of this lap, like the next one we come around, we're going to be at 16%. So we're going to do an entire lap hitting the cliff. 5% you think? So we do half a lap hitting the cliff. So let's say it costs us about four seconds. Well, really, it's a little less than that. So let's say riding the cliff for a little while costs us about three seconds, two seconds, maybe. Um, and obviously, pitting the extra time for ultras will cost us 20. But the ultras are faster. So do the ultras make up enough time? There's going to be 16 laps left. If they're a second per lap faster and avoid the cliff, then it's break even. I think it, that's why we're having such a hard time thinking about it. I'm about to start lap 27. 
Yeah, no, I, I realize that. Like, no matter what, I can I can do lap 27. That's not the question. The problem is, I'm not sure that doing lap 27 now is good enough. I think one of the two tire stints... Well, in which case, okay, so one of the two stints on softs have to go to 15 laps. Maybe the next one's going to have the easiest time, because maybe we can do a little more conserve. I think the super softs are better. So we're going to stay uh, on this. On both drivers. Not go ultras. But yeah, we will pit here. And what we're going to try to do is do a little conserve on the final stint. Well, yellows will last all the way, yeah. But I think that's going to be much, much worse. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we can just go yellow and push. But no, we've also got the performance boost on the supers. Yeah, I forgot about that. So that's going to make me um, take this option here. Advantage of going ultras, we would get another charge on our ERS, so you do get considerable amount of speed boost that way. More whiskey and chocolate. Oh, shit. Um, you're fine there. This might be able to push for the end of the lap. I think you can. We did that. Amoa, thank you very much. How does the man on the moon cut his hair? Eclipse it. And this one seems quite appropriate for today. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. Sorry, I see myself out. Thank you very much for that. And the 1818 is very nice. Conserve immediately out of the pits? Maybe. I don't think we want... We can't conserve the entire time. I think that'll be too much. And it'll get too cold. percent. We just hit the cliff. Perfectly timed. Almost like I know what I'm doing. Except you guys know better. Did Balky not get ERS? I thought I hit both their ERS buttons. Fuck. I thought I hit both their buttons. I, uh, I switched both their modes, but I didn't ERS them both. Ah, crap sticks. And you gotta wait until you fully clear the pit before you hit it, otherwise it Hits it and puts it on cooldown. That timing there is really annoying. Oh, that's just a blue flag car, so it doesn't matter. So the question is, how many laps do we have to conserve on? Oh, we didn't actually take the ERS on uh, Monty. Like, shouldn't she still be ERSing? Only wasted three percent. Okay, yeah, yeah, good, 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 good. Oh, you know what? I think I did hit both of them, but quite early in the lap. She probably ran out and then started to charge again or something like that. No, I, I know. That wouldn't make any sense. There's no way they make 25% charge in a lap. So I just didn't hit it. Okay. Uh, you can go back to high fuel mode for a little bit. That's going to be okay. Um, what the fuck is going on here? So the blue flag is forming a wall with Flores. Who's boxing, yes, but... Oi. Okay, Holden's going to go to the end on those tires. And I don't think we make up a 15 second gap, even though we're on faster tires. Still, I'm not going to complain about a second place. Um, Maudie's definitely pitting. Well, yeah, 12 laps, those are way too long. They might come out on ultras and be very scary, though. Fuel's fine on Balky. She's got lots now still. They're definitely good. Okay, since we're not currently fighting for an overtake, we'll do a little bit of conserve. Maybe like two laps of conserve. I don't know how much we'll save. Let's uh, try to get a count for when we get past the start-finish line here. For 42 laps, this track feels really long. Alright, that's the start line there. So we're at 77 on Monty. I don't think Holden's going to pit. Well! La these tires are supposed to last about 20 laps. Is they're halfway gone. There's about 10 la left. Let's 
So 77% when we were on conserve. But the temps are dropping very quick on the conserve. Okay. So uh, so we used we used 5% on conserve. And I don't think we can serve more than this. Yeah, uh, I don't think that's going to work out, you guys. Okay, Monty's pitting. The tires are getting too cold. It's not fine. It's not fine. <clears throat> We might have been better just going on yellow the whole time. Because now I'm worried we're going to hit the temperature too quick. Have to counter with some um, some push mode to balance it. Or we leave it because the thing is, if you hit zero, then it degrades twice as quickly. And that's really bad. This blue flag's not being very uh, kind. We could push like mad and go ultras, in which case maybe we should have gone ultra, ultra. Although maybe it wouldn't make a difference. I don't know. The temperature is a lot more stable on yellow. It doesn't drop too fast. I don't know. Fuel is still okay. We are going to have to switch it very soon, though. Maybe make the transition now. We don't need it on Balky, but it's a little easier to check both. Okay, no one near either one of the two drivers. Well, not that near anyway. Triangles indicate temperature. No, this is the uh, the mode. These triangles here, they correspond to these modes here. I just, just tend to refer to them by their color most of the time. Gonna be a big enough lead on Becker. Yeah, but we don't though. Like, even if we push, it's not gonna be enough to make it work. Man, these guys really want to unlap themselves, which is fine. It's allowed. But then they don't go fast enough, and then I just have to repass them, and I feel like I lose a little bit of time. So Man, he's pushing a lot on those softs. Yeah, he might be planning. Well, he must be planning the pit at this point. What about Becker? No, Becker's conserving, which that's never going to work for the temperature. Shit, they might be both pitting for ultras. Okay, we're coming through here. Let's assume 6% per lap. Okay, so we got to do 38, 9, 10, 1, 2. We got to do five laps. If we're assuming 6% per lap, that's 30%. We end at 42%, or we end at 12%, which means we cliff but only a little, which is sort of what we were thinking. More like 7? 8, 9, 10, 1, 2. Five laps. More like 7, is, you're thinking it's more like 7%. Yeah. Well, let's, let's count here. Well, the thing is, I could just go to full red. I think, no, we keep going. I, I think, see, that that's annoying. I should have just ERS to prevent that from happening. But, okay, you know what? Maybe you're fast, you're fast. Oh, Taylor's on Ultra Softs. Fresh Ultras. Okay, that's why you're so quick. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. We pit for Ultras. Yes, we do. Because here's the thing. Behind the safety car, we don't wear our tires as much. So maybe they could make it to the end. But... The tire, the temperature drops like crazy too. So we would have problems. I, we box for ultras. It's like, it's a shame. It's like, can, can we, can we do this? It's like, well, we can, it's not going to do anything. Um, I don't think we can ERS either. So we'll box Monty for ultras and a 50% charge, which will put her just over a hundred percent. And then we'll box Balky for ultras. 
and 25% charge. I'll put them both to 100% battery power for the restart. Um, we can do this. So we'll be able to go to aggressive mode. I think we're just going to orange the goddamn tires until the end. I, d I think red line might be a bit much. We're only going to have like three laps. I don't know. Yeah, we are, we are maxing the RS. I can't ERS now. It's not gonna. It's not gonna do anything. I've just put the tires to red for the lulls. Warn ultras from Holden. That's great news. I hate that you can't interact with your strategy here. Guys, what do you think? Should we should we pit Rhea? I mean, you know, maybe. Maybe we should. Pro strats right here. <laughs> Fire Monty. <laughs> so yeah, lots of people boxing. Inter Becker didn't pit, but didn't gain track position? I guess there's enough for the gap. For even fresher tires. Yeah, we should we should pit on the second lap of the safety car so that we get the freshest tires possible. Just gotta keep an eye on the temperature, make sure that you don't go ice cold. Yeah, we are gonna be redlining. This is gonna be Every now and again there's an F1 race like this, and you get the most insane last two or three laps, right? Because everyone's bunched up. Overtakes are gonna abound. There's a good chance there's gonna be more accidents. Absolute hundred percent sprint to the finish. Alright. Oh shit, there's the temp. Okay, we'll just orange them a bit. Well, yeah, that's probably better. The power, yeah. we'll go back to yellow on these two. They'll dip, but not too quickly. And yeah, we're, it's gonna be double red. And then max ERS right away. All right, the, the race restarts, I think, when the car disappears in the garage. There it is. Red, red, ERS. Mm, go away. Red, red, ERS. Okay, this is going to be the race start of all restarts. Bam. I guess I could have burned fuel during the safety car to lighten the load. Oh, Monty! Oh, that's a blue flag person who now we're going ghost mode with. That's the problem. They don't let the uh, they don't unlap cars. So actually, Holden's in a good position because we have to deal with these blue flag bastards who are in our way. Valky's trying to make an overtake on third now. Maybe I don't. It's such a cluster. You can't tell what the real cars are. Oh no! Becker got past Monty. God damn it! On those softer tires. But now, Monty's coming back at her. Him, them. They should have let the, uh... That's why in real F1, they let the lap cars unlap themselves. There we go! All natural, no ERS. Now, they have a little bit of ERS, which they like to save for the final lap. Tire wear's fine. We are on the final lap. There's nothing to save. Go, go, go. Yeah, I could have burned a little fuel during the safety car just to lighten our vehicles. We've got more ERS charge than us. It's going to be hard to maintain the second place. It's going to be so hard to maintain the second place. Ah, no. Feels okay. Tires are okay. Huh. I'm not going to save the car rule if one's were. Yeah, I mean, rel it is relatively recent. I think it's been it's been in play ever since I started watching it. But yeah. And I think it's a really good idea. Like having having seen the haven't seen it not be in effect. It's like because it does seem kind of artificial and weird, and sometimes it does lead to certain um, like degenerate things that you didn't want to see. But when sometimes it when when it doesn't happen, 
it's a goddamn mess. It's terrible. Safety car costs the second place. It may have. It may have, actually. Still, it does put us in a really put, put good position for our second place in the championship, which is realistically what we're going for over here. Uh, Madi and Tyler, who go for Scuderia Rossini over here, uh, came in fifth and seventh, in fact. So that tells there. And really, first place in the championship was not going to happen. It would have been nice to, you know, get more wins, but it's going to be okay. <laughs> there we go. Chica ended up exactly where she started, fourth. And that's despite the fact she lost, like, six places on the start. Which was embarrassing, um, and yeah, Rhea started fifth, ended up third, but she ended up, she was like third after the first corner. It was crazy, and basically kept that. Becker had bad quality. Wow, crazy. What's the difference between you and Chicken? I don't know. Do you know how to cross the road? Mm -hmm. Imagine restart with Mazbin starting ahead of the field with two laps down. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm really enjoying Humankind. The first few times I play, you know, it's like you're trying to figure things out, and you're this and you're that, and it's like, you know, yeah, it's got the feel of Civ. Is it as good? Is it going to have that? But it's one of those, with most strategy games, It the, the beauty of it doesn't, the true sort of long-term beauty of it doesn't start to really um, express itself until you've played enough to really understand what's going on, especially once you start going to the higher difficulties where you're forced to try to figure out those edges, that's where the beauty of all these strategies always comes out, right? Like, if you play if you play Civ on Chieftain mode, which, no judgment, if, the, you know, that that's where you are, that's where you are, right? But let's say, let's say you're someone who could play at a higher difficulty, but you choose to play at Chieftain mode, there's a good chance you won't find the same degree of enjoyment because you can mostly just do whatever and mostly have it work as long as you know kind of the, the very basics um and then you can get in this zone where you feel like nothing you do really matters all that much right and it's hard to get as invested into the game whereas if you're forced to really focus on the nitty-gritty and figure things out then you become much more invested and i finally hit the point like i finally grok humankind um to the point where now i can feel invested because i sort of understand enough of the systems and how they interact together that I can feel like, okay, I'm making real, active, meaningful choices to shape my destiny in the game. Doesn't mean I'm going to be that good yet, but I've at least hit the point where like I can I can start to feel that. <laughs> the next race, remember the sponsor. Yeah, I think it will show it up in the sponsor list. I think it will it will will see the the time three or whatever. I don't know if it changes the prize number or not. Like I don't know if they'll say I don't know three point six million or whatever it is. I don't remember what the base value is. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the um, Humankind video that just went up today is a little bit of a how-to. Um, it's not a dedicated full tutorial. It's a let's play with the, with a lot of beginner-friendly and tutorial-style uh, commentary, at least for the first two episodes. Um, I do want to do a more specific um, uh, tutorial series. What will probably happen with that is I'll probably... Uh, use footage or use some saves that I make along the way to be able to like load to a specific area to talk about a particular topic. So a, a just a how-to right now was a little out of scope, but probably the plan. And in the meantime, um, lost focus already. In the meantime, uh, this this beginner-friendly let's play will hopefully cover things. You know, uh, who's better, guys? Who's better? Who's a better driver? Chat is going to have a single unanimous answer. It's going to be very clear. Emma. Fortunately, not a choice. We're going to go with Riyat Montero. I like it. You just don't want to not pick anyone because then you lose uh, marketability. And I like that like, none of the drivers are offended by not picking one. Uh, any good hires? So, no... No, no, just on the basis they have shit stamina and therefore an automatic mistake chance. 94 is pretty good. Oh yeah, I've, I've been keeping this person in the shop for a while because they're not terrible. They'd really only be useful for putting on tires. So I don't know if I'm going for them yet. We shall see. I think I think it's just going to be the one race today because I am absolutely shattered. But we're, we're going to do some mechanical stuff and things. And we're already, we're already, like, it's 315. So, 
we'd have a very hard time fitting in the other race anyway without going wickedly over and I'm so brain dead right now. Like I feel I feel drunk. And I promise you, I am not. But that's sure as hell the way I feel right now. Alright, they've been rotated, that's gonna be okay. Yeah, we go way over today, Lothar. We'd go way over. So there's no performance parts being done. I mean, I'll just throw in whatever we happen to be using right now. And the reliability side doesn't matter. We're done. So we'll just improve whatever. It's going to be okay. Um, we're doing our dummy gearbox right now. just finished um so that was the dummy gearbox we might do one more dummy wow that is a really shit great tier here we don't use weight stripping in the league so i guess it's an acceleration plus 25 part I suppose we could do this. It doesn't help on any race where we're doing mediums and hards. And the plus 50 doesn't carry over to the next season. Because it's a conditional plus 50. This plus 25 would carry over. The plus 60 would. Wow. Wow. I mean, like, even this, the 10, you know, it's only 10 instead of 20 because it's got the reliability. Like, that's not terrible. For But then we kind of, we really run out of good shit. I suppose what we could do is we could do this, this, that. Right? And in, skip the great. Do this, this, that, and then whatever's on epic. And if nothing else, if it if Epic's a whiff as well, then we can just ignore the gearbox. It's a shame we don't get to improve our gearbox right now. Come back to it at the end of the season when we're just doing all the super illegal stuff. Um, yeah, so I'll do another just for dummy part over here. Growing strawberry sounds like an excellent idea, Nachos. I'm not much of a gardener. I saw your question on Discord earlier as well if, uh, if I grew strawberries. No, I don't, I don't grow anything. We do have a basil plant. In the house. A little basil plant. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I can't do great now. Right now, what we're doing is we're just unlocking great. That's all we're doing right now is unlocking great. So we're, we're far from unlocking. So no, no matter what, this wasn't, I wasn't going to use a great component right now. I'm just trying to figure out what the next thing is going to be. Because the idea was, if, if I didn't think we were going to be making a gearbox that we're actually going to use for the season then I wouldn't be spending my time on it right now. And maybe I should just bail. Maybe I should be like, well, there's a chance we're not going to end up with a decent gearbox in here. Maybe I should just be like, you know what? Let's focus on suspension for a sec. Or, I don't know, front wing. I guess front wing's our lowest thingy right now. Um, so yeah, we just make a dummy one here. Uh, at least we can go, like, we've got some things for our actual design later. Because it can go this low speed corner, then this one to the max. And then hopefully there's good stuff at great. Yeah, we'll skip gearboxes for now. We'll work on the front wing. We'll come back. So there's that way, if it turns out that there's not a good legal gearbox in the end, we haven't spent a bunch of development time getting there. We're going to want to go and make super duper illegal gearboxes at the end of the season. Um, but for now, yeah, we'll just do the front wing. And yeah, at least it's got a really fast turnaround time. So right now there's nine tire compounds. So they want to vote for 12. Placing greater emphasis on tire wear rates. I don't know why they, they describe it that way. This car, this rule will benefit cars that are easy on tires. This is, we're, we're nine tires is what we use now. So isn't this the opposite? Isn't this, wouldn't this benefit cars that have more tire wear because they have more tires to play with? 
So, like, it seems to me this would be bad to pass, because this gives us more tires, which, yes, makes our life a little bit easier, but makes a life easier for the AI who's bad with tires. Yeah, I don't want the change. The only question is, do I want to gain some voting power or not? Yeah, I think it's bad for us if this passes. Yeah, everyone's going to push their tires harder. Oh, it's compared to the original, which is probably like, like fucking 16 tires or whatever. They just get infinite tires. That's what this is. It's not greater emphasis than our nine that we are now. It's greater than whatever the default is. So I'm going to throw one vote against. Okay. So we didn't get the, you know, carry forward our power, but yeah. No, that, that, yeah, we didn't, we didn't want that to pass. Yeah, our markability is great. I agree. Wait, the, was it defaulting to two votes? Because I didn't hit the arrow. I do remember seeing the two. I thought that was telling me how many... Did I have to bring it down? Maybe I threw two votes in the last time and it just remembered that. Well, that was a fucking waste. That was a real waste. I didn't... It saved, I guess, what was there. Because we didn't click the arrows. Oh, that's really stupid. That's really stupid and annoying. Womp womp. Alright, front wing. So, if we were designing a wing we were using, we'd start with those two. This is probably just going to be another training wing, which means we do this to save, you know, a couple of bucks. Um, we probably design... Well, we might skip the grate as well. It'll depend uh, whether epic or not looks good. Um... But we might do a training one on great, and then we make one that's epic and one that's legendary. Nah, I'm not going to save Scummit. Who cares? Cost of doing business. Yeah. Just a training wing. Get two new parts, which I'm not going to be fitting on anything. If it's constantly stream, okay, then I don't feel bad about um, stopping mine early then and not raiding, which is what's going to happen. Okay, yeah, we're going to stop here. We're not going to do Guildford right now um, because I am absolutely 100% burnt out. Uh, maybe it was a mistake to record some Humankind this morning. On the other hand, there's Humankind videos. Well, there's one video now. I'm going to make the second Humankind video live now uh, of our Let's Play. So, then this is distinct from the stuff that's been going on in YouTube. It's a completely different series. Uh, on Wednesday, we were going to continue our live-streamed Humankind game that we started. Um, assuming there's no save compatibility between the press release version that I've been playing and the release version, which should be available tomorrow. So, finger crossed over there. Um, yeah, go watch the Humankind Part 1 video. I'll make Part 2 live in a minute. And... Um, yeah, I think this one's getting this one's getting uh this one's getting tripled or whatever as well. Actually, something more than that. So it does factor in the numbers. So if we can get first, if it was raining, I might YOLO on this one. Since it's not, we're gonna take special effect and do that. But that'll be that'll be for next time. Uh, thanks a lot for coming out, folks. Sorry it's a little short. Sorry I was extra derpy today. Uh, looking forward to seeing you guys on Wednesday for more Humankind. And then remember, Saturday is the Red Bull City Skylines esports tournament. Because that's a thing that exists and makes sense. Uh, and I'll see you then for that. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a good day.